everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, I've been watching a lot of soccer lately. The Women's World Cup is happening right now, and so is the CONCACAF Gold Cup on the men's side. So there's a lot of soccer around, and I've been watching quite a bit of it. And I love the sport. I love the game. But I have a few ideas that I think would improve the experience for everybody. First of all, I think they should allow more substitutions. Right now, they only allow three. I think they should expand that number to five. That way, the coach could hold one in reserve in case someone gets injured. It's not a big change, but think about it. Right now, after the uh, soccer team has made its three substitutions, if somebody gets injured, then that team has to play a man short for the rest of the game. Even if the other team caused that injury. So I think that they should add an extra substitution or two. And that would be fair, much more fairer to the team that has an injury. Second, when play stops, just stop the clock. Right now, the clock runs. And, it, and, and the referee adds time at the end of each period. So nobody knows actually how much time is left in the game. Just stop the clock when the play stops and start it when play resumes. That way everybody would know exactly how much time there is and there can be no accusations that the referee is favoring one team over the other. And overtime in soccer should be sudden death. If you score a goal, you win. Currently there are two 15 minute overtime periods that are played to completion no matter what happens. Even if one team scores, they just keep on playing. It makes no sense. You know, one, there's nothing more dramatic than a game winning goal. And finally, penalty kicks. A lot of games are decided by penalty kicks, whether it's caused by a foul in the offensive area or whether the, uh, the game ends in a tie and they go to penalty kicks. So a, a lot of games are actually decided by, by this. The problem is, is that the mark where penalty kicks are taken from is 12 yards from the goal. That's too close. The goalkeeper doesn't have time to actually react to the shot. Instead, he or she simply guesses which way he thinks the shot, he or she thinks the shot might be going and dives in that direction. And you see it all the time. The goaltender dives in one direction, the shot goes in the opposite way. It's absolutely ridiculous. And what that means is that a lot of soccer games are decided by luck. After all that time and effort and hard work, the game is decided by a fluke. What kind of shit is that? Move the penalty marker back to the top of the penalty area. That way, even though it would still favor the shooter, it would be a slightly more difficult shot, and the goaltender would be able to react to the shot instead of just guessing. The game would be decided by the skills of the shooter and the goaltender instead of dumb luck. It makes no sense for the world championship in any sport to be decided by who's luckiest instead of who's best. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. 
So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.